Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So last Ramadan, we, we promised some things. I want to give an update on where we are with, with respect to those things. So very quickly, this center, as most of you know, we started in um, 2006. And you can think of MCC 1.0 uh, go from 2006 to maybe 2000 and um, well in 10 we got this this physical building and then by the 14 15 we were able to pay off the building most of it so think of that as, as MCC 1.0 2.0 is really getting this program started and now you can think of programs going in a very significant way over here uh, inshallah this fall and winter time we will launch uh, 3.0 and we want your input and feedback in terms of what the next play is here for the long term. Very quickly, if you think about it, in 2006, we had 16,000 people in the Tri-Valley area, so 16,000 Muslims, 16,000 Muslim families times four, right? Uh, 18 years later, 4% growth, double it, where we are 120,000, right? How many people in this motion? 1,000? at service as, as at Livermore. We have two or 3% of our people that come, to, come to the Bashar. And think about the next generation. So we have to get serious about investment in the next generation. And what we talked about last time in terms of things we want to do outside, particularly games and things like that, is really to attract the younger generation and get serious about investment in facilities that allow programs and then together they come together, we can have more people coming to places like this. So with that, I want to give a quick update. Um, Saeed Bhai is here. Do you want to come to the front, Saeed Bhai? And I may ask him for help as I go through this uh, fairly rapidly. Saeed Bhai is head of construction. He's been doing this for many, many years. Is all pro bono. Okay. He, I, and I can tell you he spends hours and hours a day here. Uh, uh, helping. And the other thing I would say about Saeed Bhai is he, he knows how to get the most out of little bits of money. Because I, I can tell you, I can guarantee you things that cost $100,000 that we do for, we do for $50,000. I guarantee you that. Okay. So Bismillah. Uh, so what we're going to talk about is site renovation. This is the, the uh, chart we showed you last year and we had, um, uh, we had these, um, what are they called? Those things we made up, those box, those cardboard, cardboard thingamajigs. Uh, and we had two pictures. One was this picture, and the other picture we showed was the outside, right? So I'm not going to talk about this. What I really want to focus about right now is what we're doing on the outside. I will tell you very briefly, we've had two up town halls giving you an update on where we are in construction. In the combined town halls, we've got no more than 50 people which is why we're trying to get everybody up to date here, and then we will hold more town halls to get your input, but we, we need you to come to the town halls. Bismillah. Uh, this, is a con this is the construction project status from where we were last year and where we are now. The parking lot repairs we did in Ramadan or before Ramadan? Just before Ramadan, those are complete. Uh, the old HVAC units, we spent a lot of time talking about these big two old HVAC units, they're gone. It, will, it did cost close to $100,000 just to take them apart, move them, and then you'll see later on uh, uh, putting new HVAC units for the school area. That's done. The lobby area is mostly done. There is one major thing we're going to change in the lobby area that I'll talk about in a bit. Uh, and then what I want to talk about now, the rest of this, is what are we doing outside? Because that's, that's what we talked about last time. And the questions I want to answer are very simple. We said we we're going to have a basketball court. We said we we're going to have all these courts. We said we we're going to have a tennis area. We said we we're going to have a cafe. It's one year later. Where are you? Did you spend all the money? Are you still serious about it? Right? Those, that, those, that's the fundamental questions we want to get answered. Okay. And so this is an existing site view. And if you look at the uh, mudshed, uh, the, uh, the corner, the bottom corner is where the men enter. Okay. And the left side where you see the pinkish area is the Sunday school area. This is the existing site view. This is a more focused area. And you notice that green pod in the middle, that is really not used. It's very inefficient land that's been there for since 2010. We haven't done anything with it. Okay? So what's the plan? And we've talked about this before. So alhamdulillah, we were able to... This is different than what we said last time. We're able to have a full basketball court, high school-sized basketball court, 
and a green area with zero parking spots taken away. Right? We thought this was not possible. We reconfigured this and that. So what you'll see in this diagram is, and there are a lot of, there are a lot of um, unknowns we still have, because the process from here going forward, we have to take this to the housing, to the um, Hacienda uh, Office uh, Association. What is it called? Uh, uh, the Hacienda Owners Association. That's going to be a two-month go back and forth, do this, do this, do, do this. Uh, then we take it to the city, and that's another three, four-month process. And then you start the actual construction. Okay, And you will see by the amount of detail we have just what the housing, uh, uh, housing association, HOA. HOA, thank you, whatever it's called, the HOA, uh, the office association is requiring. So in here you will see, and I don't think I can do that, I can merely do that. In this little area here, uh, we are going to have about 25 EV stations for, for your cars. Okay. The city actually requires 25%. If we go over 20, we start to have to think about gener uh, changing the generator and everything else. So that's why we don't know what the costs are right now, because what the school, what the uh, what they're going to require us to do. Uh, you will see the part. You will see the um, the basketball court, and you see the green court is better shown. If I go to the next slide, there you see the basketball court. The green area next to it is a little play area for the kids. If you go up, and I don't think I can do this from here. If you go up to this area over here, there's a little kitty area with kitty, uh, kitty um, play school type little slides and things like that. And then down in this area is there's a picnic area, which is this this area right behind me, and it's expanded. Okay. Now, as I said, this is a basketball court. The same court can be used for volleyball. The same court can be used for two pickleball courts. And the same court can be used for two badminton courts. Okay. We'll have to figure out timing and you know, gender and all that sort of stuff. Okay. That's a quick look at that. Just to let you know, there is a real a landscape plan. Uh, with plant types and everything else. They actually want to know what plant we're going to put where. Before we even go to uh, before we even go to the city, so we have a landscape landscaper involved. We have an architect involved. We have a civil engineer involved. Anybody else? Landscape, landscape architect also already involved and busy on this. Okay. Um, I won't go through these the sets of flowers. Uh, again, this is more the courtyard detail. The courtyard is this area right here. The area behind us is going to get redone. And if you do a little more detail on this, I think I can do this on this slide. We're going to have about 12 permanent benches on which, uh, on which you can put 96 people. In between, we can put more benches, and we have the capacity of 400 people in the picnic area. That's where it's full. That's actually a bit too much, probably closer to 300 is my guess. Okay. Uh, these are just examples of the type of look you should expect to see, right? So you can see the, the, the kitty playground area. You can see, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about the different uh, looks. Here is a rendering. If you're coming in to, from the main area over here and you're driving in, you know, the two, two areas. This is what they should look like. On the right-hand side, you see the parking lot. I'm sorry, you see the basketball court, and then you'll see the green area. Here's another view of it. And notice this area with all that pink stuff. Uh, that is the uh, area behind us, which is the picnic area with trellises and plants on top of it and so forth. Okay. Another view of that is this. Again, this is all the uh, picnic area. This is the grass area. This is the uh, this is the uh, uh, the court area, and there is a path. You can't see this in here. There is a walking path behind that with little exercise uh, 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 structures. Okay, I think you may see some examples. Here's another example of a trellis. This is before the plants have grown and so forth. It'll be a dark brown. This is another view of it. It's actually going to be dark brown on this, as shown as light brown. Notice the flooring is all redone from what we have today to what it's going to be in the future. Now, this is a slide that to me is, I think this is the last slide, good. This is a slide that's actually the most important. 
And this is a fundamental shift from what we were thinking about yes, uh, before. One of the things I said, I said, this is all about youth, right? This is all about youth. So on that side, boom, looking straight down there, where that middle window is, there's going to be another door, and you can exit from this side too. And there'll be, there'll be uh, shoe racks on this side, and on the other side of that wall outside, there'll be shoe racks also. And then you will walk on the right-hand side where that garage area is, you'll walk into a cafe. Okay, and I think of a cafe like an inkling. Mostly, cafe, mostly coffee, mostly tea, and a few snacks. Okay, it's a place where kids hang out. I, I'm sorry, I say kids. It's a place where young adults hang out. You go, you say, say your laptop, you do your work, you hang, you drink your coffee, you do your work, et cetera, et cetera. Right? It's where my son goes, a lot of you sons go, and just hang. That's what that's going to be like. It'll also go out where the, today there's a tar area, the trash can area. That's going to get redone, and the outside of the cafe will go all the way outside till the end over here. Okay. So think of that as a cafe. Think of it as a space for young kids to hang out where we can still have programs, we can still have talks, those will all be free, there'll be food, those will all be free, there'll be food. I saw this, and I'm going to end here, I saw this in, um, in Imam Majid's uh, masjid in, um, in Tyson's Corner area in Virginia, right? And I saw the program Thursday night, right, this was about two months ago, 80 people in a small cafe, completely full, 20 minute talk. They have a full-time events coordinator and a facilitator. The talk is done, go away speaker. Now we're gonna just get together and talk about what you just heard and a facilitator, right? That place is full every Thursday and there was nobody above 40. Okay. And you bring in people that don't necessarily come to the masjid all the time. That's, that's what we're trying to do. So think of that as a third space in addition to all the other spaces here. There are other things we want to do here. We're not prepared to talk about that today. Did I miss anything? Say goodbye. That pretty much covers, I think. That pretty much, that's pretty much covers it. We're ready to go. I'm really sorry we took so much uh, time. Last two things, right? Remember, we still need money. Da, 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 drums. So Zakat al Fitr, 12 bucks per person. In, in every family required. Zakat, please give. This year, we're in, uh, uh, Zakat, please give. This year, we're focused on operations. We said 200K. Please get that rolling. We're not focused on asking money right now for this. Okay. Give to the building fund, but we want to make a little bit of progress. We want to know what this total cost is going to be, and then we'll ask for money. But the money we had last time, we have not used any of it. It is still there to be used against this. Okay, just a couple of I'm really sorry this took so long. <laughs>